right before I met you, I drove this highway with one of my mates in that Bronco that I had. Yeah. And the windscreen wipers were like shitty. I changed them and they still didn't work properly when it was snowing and it was dumping snow. <laughs> oh my god. And it was like almost pitch black just because it was snowing so much. And my mate had to stick his head out the window and tell me if I was in the right like side of the road or to move over or not. The That's hallway. terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Lloyd and I are going to conquer the most dangerous road in Canada or North America. This is the road that's known for the ice truckers driving on. I've driven on it many times as a child. Nothing bad has ever happened. We did check the forecast today. It's meant to be okay, so fingers crossed it stays that way. The weather can change quite drastically and we don't have winter tires on this thing so it's a little bit Worrying, but the sun's poking out at the moment, which is awesome. And um, we've got to get to Kelowna. It's about a two and a half hour drive. Maybe take about three in, in the RV. Doesn't go too fast up hills. Um, Lloyd's just checking all the oil and everything so we feel <laughs> safe and everything's gonna be okay. It's still a little bit daunting because it's a pretty hectic road and kind of hard to know what it's gonna be like up there, but I think we're gonna be okay. There is a camera that you can check to see what the weather looks like. Did you check it this morning? Yeah, it said rain. Okay. It could easily turn into snow though. Yeah. You ready, Bear? It might be the most dangerous road to drive, but it might also be the most beautiful. <laughs> it's stunning. We're literally going through the mountains right now. It's about, looks about 86 kilometers until the next city, so that's how long the Coquihalla is. So far the weather's pretty good, so fingers crossed. <laughs> so fingers crossed it stays like this because it's actually a really nice drive right now. to do it buddy. Right before I met you I drove this highway with one of my mates in that Bronco that I had. Yeah. And the windscreen wipers were like shitty. I changed them and they still didn't work properly when it was snowing and it was dumping <laughs> snow. Oh my god. And it was like almost pitch black just because it was snowing so much and my mate had to stick his head out the window and tell me if I was in the right like side of the road or to move over or not. The That's hallway. terrifying. Yeah. <laughs> of the drive just on the other side of pretty much through the mountains you can tell that the climate changes pretty drastically it's way drier there's like no snow around and everything's pretty much brown <laughs> except for the pine trees but I think we got through the worst of it wasn't too bad we picked probably the perfect day to do it it did start raining for a minute I did get a little bit nervous and a little bit snowy but we made it <laughs> definitely check the forecast before you do that drive but it looks like it still gets pretty hectic. All right, it's lunchtime. We've just pulled over on the side of the road. We're starving. We have leftover tacos. We're gonna eat them and then make our way to Kelowna. 
This is easily the best part about having a camper, eh? Driving on the freeway, pull over for lunch. It's awesome having a home on wheels. so long while we were flying everywhere and like living in hotel rooms I'm loving cooking every day <laughs> every meal three meals a day <laughs> back on the road bear you ready let's do it <laughs> you say that <laughs> Yeah, it looks like it. Come here. Come on. Bear, it's okay. Come on. You have to come on. Come here. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. Bear, come here. It's okay. It's okay. Come on. He's right behind you, you can grab him. He still wants to go for the <laughs> stick. <laughs> That's stuck in your mouth, bro. <laughs> Bear! He still got it, shit! Did you get rid of it? No. No, it's not that. He's got two now. Doesn't he? Let me see. Is it gone? Yeah. Was it even stuck? Yeah, it was. How is it there? This one knocked it out. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that on camera? I want to see the instant replay. <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> oh my god, that scared me so bad. Bear! No more little sticks. <laughs> His lip was so funny. What do you use to build a fire? Garbage and no sticks paper. I collected. I got this paper from our Tim Hortons. I think I can make it work. I'm a bit skeptical. She reckons she can start a fire with no paper. We'll see. I'll just have a beer and watch, eh? Do you want one? I'm stubborn. <laughs> I never, did I even use paper growing up? I don't think I ever used paper. I never used fire starter. We didn't have it. You didn't have paper? Oh, maybe we had newspaper. Yeah, actually. of course. Yeah. 
Oh, we used to use so much newspaper. I don't remember using that much of it. Do they even do newspapers anymore? I don't know. <laughs> Where do you get them? You know, the milk bar. <laughs> the news agency? Yeah. You don't have either of those here, do you? <laughs> I don't think so. You got it going? I did it. But you used some paper, right? I used toilet paper, I cheated. <laughs> It's going. Yay. It's going good. What are you going to do? Drink a beer and sit out in nature and watch the fire. Stew. And eat stew. Yeah, I'm going to make a stew. Beef stew. Mm. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Subscribe. Subscribe.